Hi guys, welcome back, I'm Sherry. Today's recipe is a spatchcock or butterfly chicken with Thai chili sweet sauce and Chinese five spice. It's so yummy. As usual, uh, there'll be a link down below with the ingredients and the recipe. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first part of spatchcocking or butterflying our chicken is we have to cut out the backbone. And this is probably the most brutal part. So you're gonna take a pair of kitchen shears and just follow the line of the chicken. And don't throw away this backbone, it makes great stock. So save a couple of them in your freezer until you're ready to use them. All right, so once we have the backbone removed, you're going to flip the chicken over. And you're going to do a chest compression and you're gonna hear the bones pop. I have my chicken on a cooking sheet or a baking sheet with a cooking rack to keep the chicken up a little bit so that the fats will drip down and it will, will have more crunchy space or crispy skin. So at this point, you're going to want to pat your chicken as dry as possible for the next step. You're going to take some butter and you are going to give your chicken a massage. And now we're going to sprinkle our bird with five spice, Chinese five spice powder. All right, so go ahead and place your chicken in an oven that has already been preheated to 400 for about 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it because you don't want to get too crispy on the outside. You might have to tent it. And then we're going to go ahead and make the glaze while it's cooking. All right, so to make the glaze that's gonna go on our chicken, we're gonna start off with some apricot preserve. Um, this can be store-bought, homemade. If you don't have apricot, you can use other stuff. Plum works really well, the sour, the sweet, and the um, spicy. Uh, haven't tried strawberry yet, so if you do that, let me know. So to our apricot, we're going to add sweet chili sauce. This is a Thai style. Um, this is to your preference. I like really spicy, so I'm gonna make mine really spicy. All right, so 20 minutes in, about 25 minutes in, I pulled it out and glazed it one time. Um, 10 minutes later, I'm pulling out and glazing again, and I'm gonna keep doing this until the internal temperature of the chicken reaches about 165, about 170 near the like thigh bone and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I uh, hope to see you next time on Kimchi and Cornbread.